जय हिंद एवरी वन माई नेम इज डॉक्टर नीतू शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम अप्लाइड साइंसेज एंड ह्यूमैनिटीज सब्जेक्ट नेम इज टेक्निकल कॉम्युनिकेशन एंड सब्जेक्ट कोर इज बी एस थ्री जीरो वन सो द टॉपिक विच आई हैव टेकन टूडे दैट इज बैरियर्स टू इफेक्टिव कॉम्युनिकेशन एंड इट इज फ्रॉम यूनिट वन दैट इज फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ कॉम्युनिकेशन एंड वॉइस डायनेमिक्स सो वट इज कॉम्युनिकेशन बैरियर्स सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट कॉम्युनिकेशन बैरियर्स इट मीन्स वेरियस डिस्ट्रैक्शंस और डिस्टर्बेंसेज इन द फ्लो ऑफ कॉम्युनिकेशन और यू कैन से विच हैम्पर द स्मूथ फ्लो ऑफ कॉम्युनिकेशन सो इन स्पाइट ऑफ अवर बेस्ट इंटेंशन दीज बैरियर्स दीज प्रॉब्लम क्रॉप अप एंड ऑब्वियसली आर रिटर्न एंड स्पोकन मैसेजेस गेट मिस अंडरस्टूड सो दे आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ बैरियर्स एक्चुअली दैट इज इंट्रापर्सनल इंटरपर्सनल एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल बैरियर्स बट आई हैव टेकन टूडे ओनली वन पार्ट दैट इज इंट्रापर्सनल बैरियर्स एंड वट आर द फैक्टर्स दैट आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इंटरपर्सनल बैरियर्स दीज आर रॉन्ग अजम्पन्स Varied perceptions, differing backgrounds, wrong preference, inferences, impervious categories, and categorical thinking. So all of us have come across such situations while communicating. We become aware of the importance of effective communication only when there is a breakdown in the process. But with conscientious efforts, we avoid such failures in our communication and make it more effective. so communication is effective only if it creates the desired impact on the receiver there are numerous such problems associated with communication so if you crop up or if you face any problem in the communication process then i would like to recommend you these five steps to follow and you can keep or you can bring back your communication on the right track so if there is a misunderstanding or if you are not getting the desired response then you can follow these five steps you know uh, that will set you on the right path so first is the identify the problem so let me explain you how to follow these five steps with the help of an example suppose um, you have been asked by your boss to present a report bi monthly but uh, you do not uh but you were you know you were puzzled because your boss reprimands you when you do not produce that report until the next month so when you do not produce the report till until the next month your boss reprimands when you and that puzzled you so you want to find out now what where the problem is obviously you try to look the meaning of this word bi monthly in the dictionary and you find that the bi monthly has two meanings what are the two meanings that uh, once in two months or obviously twice in a month so for you it meant once in two months and for your boss it meant twice in a month right so obviously if you want to identify you have identified the problem that there is a barrier or and you have find the cause that what is the problem here the wrong choice of vocabulary so you have choose your boss has chosen the wrong word here so you need to find out the solutions then and what obviously you need to work on various solutions and choose the best one right so when you choose uh, so here what are the solutions which we can suggest you know to use in this situation so you can use either twice in a month or fortnightly right so twice in a month or fortnightly i think these are the options but make sure that when you are choosing the right option or any solution that do not crop up another problem or do not give you another kind of another kind of difficulty so when you have chosen the right solution then opt for the best solution and then follow up rigorously so make sure that that never crop up again so these are the ways that you can solve your communication failure problem now what is noise noise is any interference in the message sent and received leads to the production of noise noise here doesn't mean cacophony harsh sounds but it refers to the break in the communication process it's like a barrier in the communication so here noise means any disturbance any external disturbance which creates problem or which hampers the communication process right so it can be anything like if you writing is illegible it means which is not uh, you know uh, the easily visible or the uh, the reader cannot read your writing it's not clear so again it's a kind of noise or the telephone disturbances in the network right this is another or the telephone gets connected frequently so that is again uh, another noise so these are the examples of noise if your print machine is not working properly giving a blur uh, print out so this is again 
uh, barrier. This is again example of noise. So the barrier acts like a sieve that filters only part of the message, thus causing undesired response. So I have already told you these are the classification of barriers: intrapersonal, interpersonal, organizational. I have taken only one part today in this video that is intrapersonal barriers. That is stems from a person's attitude, behavior, knowledge, education, and personality. So if we talk about intrapersonal uh, barriers you know all individuals are unique as we have different personalities different attitude values knowledge and obviously we react differently in different situations as our thinking varies and where why this thinking varies because of our different backgrounds because of we are from our di different family uh, the, the 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 bringing up we have got the experience what kind of experience we have got so all these makes us different right so let's explore the causes that lead to intrapersonal barriers so it means that the problem which arises uh, because of your different background because of your different perception your viewpoint that is actually the problem of intrapersonal barriers the first one is wrong assumptions wrong assumptions so if we talk about this barrier actually this barrier arises because of the difference in the speech patterns some people when they converse they converse at a very slow pace or some people they speak or you know the, some people talk faster than others and what is the problem that listener or you can say the reader they their brain works just a little faster uh, than the speaker so what they do they jump in or you can say they have a tendency to jump in and complete uh, the sentence or idea uh, during those pauses and another reason that we make wrong assumptions as we think that we know that what the other is going to uh, say so making assumptions uh, not only causes confusion you know it also creates ill, Ill feelings in the office so if you keep constantly uh, completing the sentences of other people they will start inviting you in the discussion or meeting because they know that you are not going to listen anything you are not going to pay attention because this is your tendency that you jump in and complete the sentences of other people another problem another assumption which you make that is if you do not have adequate knowledge about each other's background or you can say educational level uh, like for example uh, wrong assumptions are generally made because the sender and receiver doesn't have adequate knowledge about each other's background sometimes speaker does not realize the background education etc of the receiver so to be a good communicator this is the only uh, you know solution that if you really want to be a good communicator then try to put yourself in the shoes of the receiver it means try to understand their education level their background level and then draft your message accordingly and uh, means uh, try to think that what they can understand and what they cannot understand because of their educational background like for example doctor doctor obviously he is a technical person he is expert in his field but patient is a common person a layman who doesn't know the meaning of those technical words so if you if the doctor says to the patient that your wbc count is low so maybe he should he should uh, uh, the person needs to understand here that the patient doesn't know the meaning of wbc that is white blood cells right so you need to explain the technical terms which uh, which you for which you have made a wrong assumption about the knowledge level of the reader then varied perceptions so individuals in organizations also perceive situations in different ways the best way to overcome this barrier is to stay back and take a wider perspective of the whole situation like for example elephant and six blind men so again i need to explain that perception means that when we perceive the reality we actually perceive the reality by using our different senses obviously the six senses that is touching smelling five senses sorry touching smelling hearing tasting and seeing okay so how you perceive the thing it depends on different persons again here the education level the background and the experience right so if we talk about story of this elephant and six blind men each of this six blind men touched the par body parts of the elephant and they they were all correct in their opinion like those who touched the sword they say it's a uh, now, those who touch the teeth they say that it's sword those who touch uh, the uh, the ears of the elephant they say it's fan okay 
those who touch the trunk they say it's a serpent right so each of them was correct right but the but they were not able to see the whole picture that is the elephant right so it happens with all of us that we sometimes when we find that the other person is giving a different opinion right which is not confirming to our opinion and we are not able to perceive his point of view or his angle we are not able to see his point of view to to understand his perception as well and that creates the problem so let me again uh, share with all of you one more story to explain this uh uh you know point uh, let's uh, so there was a teacher and she was teaching maths to a 6 uh, year old student his name was johnny and she was uh, so she answered very simple question from johnny that if i give you one apple one apple one apple how many apples will you have so uh, the johnny thought for few seconds he said ma'am it's four so obviously the teacher was surprised because she was uh, expecting an effortless answer uh so she said maybe because he didn't concentrate he didn't listen to the question well so she said to him that this is very easy you just pay attention pay focus and then give me answer if i give you one apple one apple one apple how many apples will you have so obviously again uh, here the johnny can see the disappointment on his teacher's face so he calculated again on his fingers and he was trying to search the answer and hesitatingly replied ma'am it's uh, four so now the this is disappointment stayed on teacher's face then she thought maybe because the johnny he uh, doesn't like apples so she changed her methodology and she changed her question and then asked so now again pay attention okay that's very easy if i give you one strawberry one strawberry and one strawberry how many will you have johnny now okay again here uh, she have was with twinkling eyes she was expecting the answer again johnny calculated on his finger and now he had a little bit pressure on the, him this time and he said ma'am is 3 now the teacher was happy because her method uh, her methodology had, had succeeded so now the teacher had a victorious smile now so she wanted to congratulate herself so one last thing remained so she again ask the johnny uh, now to pay again focus because if i give you one apple one apple one apple how many apples will you have again the johnny answered it's three so the teacher was a guess and she demanded uh, in a very little stern voice how so with hesitating you know young john replied because i already have one apple in my bag so when someone gives you answer which is different from what you were expecting it is not necessarily that they are wrong uh, there may be angle which we are fail to look at right uh, where we we may not have to understood at all so we need to learn to appreciate and understand different per perspective so do not impose your perspective on others but try to understand the perspective of other people and what bit what bit went wrong you know so like for example if there is an altercation between two individuals in your office and one is your friend and one is not your friend so obviously you are not going to appreciate the view point of your uh, of your opponent opponent's point of view who is not your friend so it is only a matter of perception so only the best way to overcome this barrier is to take a step back and look the picture from a wider perspective now next is differing backgrounds so differing background means obviously we need we always we are always interested to listening the things which we have experienced so background plays a very important role to understand the things so here our background plays a very significant role how we interpret the message to be a good communicator the speaker should know about the background of the audience for example think of the class where professor talks about his rock climbing adventure some of the students are interested interested and some are not because of their experience again so those who have experienced rock climbing they would like to share their experience with the teacher or professor but those who have not done such kind of thing they would not be interested even to listen to what they have done because they have never experienced they have never seen that what kind of rocks or what kind of things obviously they are not though they are no more interested So, so this is one more barrier wrong inferences wrong inferences when we assume something without knowing the whole truth right so 
wrong inferences means that when you observe something around you and then you draw a wrong conclusion on the basis of what you observe suppose you are going on a trip right and one of your friends uh, has uh, one of your friends he could not make the trip you you have planned to for a trip with some of your friends and one of your friends ha have could not make the trip so you draw this conclusion that he has not come due to his studies or due but the reality was that he was ill at that time so again you have drawn a wrong conclusion here because what you have observed so let me give you one more example that is a very humorous kind of a story um, uh, but uh, okay let me do this later uh, but uh, actually where you fail to uh, draw the right conclusion you fail to draw the right conclusion when you fail to distinguish between what actually exist and what you had assumed to exist so inferences are more dramatic than facts and for this reason they give more scope for gossip and rumors so inferences supported by facts and figures are essential for professionals when they analyze when they plan and when they solve problems so if we talk about analyst engineers doctors medical practitioners they always you know should uh, they should observe carefully and they should always use facts and figures to draw any conclusion not work on just assumptions right they do, do not draw some kind of conclusion only on the basis of what they are observing around them so this is very important so wrong inferences when we assume something without knowing the whole truth so inferences should always be supported by facts so you should always use the word evidence suggested so you should have some evidences facts and figures on the basis of which you have arrived on a conclusion impervious categories so we react positively to positively to information only if it is in consonance with our own views and attitudes um if it does not confirm to our personal views habits attitudes or appears unfavorable to us we tend to react negatively or even disbelieve rejection distortion and avoidance are three common undesirable and negative reactions right so it means that the thing which confirm to our attitudes there are some people who are very rigid they do not want to accept the changes very easily right so if they find that some people believe uh, what they do not believe they do not accept it very easily like for example i hope that you all have heard about uh, the things uh, that uh, like if you uh, if you pray or uh, like uh, if you sweep in the evening then goddess lakshmi would leave your house so here goddess lakshmi would leave your house means that if you sweep that might be some precious jewelry right that would also uh, my, uh, can could be uh, can be swept with that so it means that uh, we are talking about the days when there was no electricity but still the people believe on this and if you want to make you know be people believe on this thing that why, where this actually uh, known uh, statement coming from so it's very difficult so obviously if you want to persuade or convince such kind of people you need to start from a common agreeable point listen to them appreciate whatever with broad mind whatever you think that you know that is acceptable appreciate all those things and then do not impose on them anything just convince them with proper logic okay so it's difficult to change the mind of the rigid people so like for example if you want to bring some new technology if you want to bring change in the organization then please tell what are the advantages benefits of these new technology to make them accept and to accept this new technology in their life categorical thinking people who feel that they know it all called pansophist these people think they know everything about a subject and refuse to accept any further information example you do not listen in your uh, to your orientation program as you think you know it all so this is again an example of categorical thinking so these are the intrapersonal barriers i hope that what are the causes or what are the factors responsible for intrapersonal barriers these are all clear to all of you one is wrong assumptions varied perceptions differing backgrounds wrong inferences impervious categories categorical thinking so some of the students they also come in this category when they say that they have the full complete knowledge about a topic and they do not want to listen it any more but every time whenever you listen to any topic 
you get some you know additional information or some new uh any you know twenty uh, percent at least you get something new whenever you listen to uh you know different speakers on the same topic. So because they have their own uh perception, they have their own uh set of opinion on that particular topic. So that you have to understand. So now, as I have already told you, that I have only discussed a part of this, of the barriers to communication in this video. That is, inter intrapersonal barriers. Now, in the next, still are left interpersonal barriers and organizational barriers. Interpersonal barriers that are that stems from inappropriate transaction of words between two or more people, and organizational barriers refers to barriers in organizational communication, which actually happens in organization. and this happens because of the organization's policies and protocols so we will understand these two barriers remaining which still left uh, in the next video lecture uh, thank you for listening to me patiently see you in the next video till then bye bye